ES Audio. From the Evening Standard in London, I'm John Weeks and this is The Leader. Expert one, what's your location? My gut tells me we're dealing with sophisticated bombers. Line of Duty fans, get ready as there's something new to fill the void. Trigger point. On me! He knows how to move. He knows how to behave like a firearms officer. Potentially someone will be training them. Yes, Jed Mercurio is producer and Vicky McClure stars in the new ITV show set in London all about the Met's bomb disposal unit. So it seems to have all the right ingredients. The six-part series starts this Sunday night at 9 and promises to give viewers an insight into counter-terrorism policing. But just why are police dramas so popular in the UK and what's the key to making them a success? Here to tell us more is the writer of Trigger Point, Daniel Brierley. So Daniel, where did the inspiration for this show come from? I've always been fascinated by by the world of bomb disposal in general. I've got two small kids and some they've never slept more than an hour in their entire lives. And so I'm often on YouTube in the middle of the night, either with them or without them. And for some reason, algorithms on my YouTube are really messed up. And it scrolled on from one of my son's dinosaur videos to this documentary about the 1970s and about the, in particular, the bomb squad in Northern Ireland. It's called The Long Walk. And it's just an extraordinary kind of, it's a very old BBC doc, but it's, it's speaking to the guys about what they do. It's, it, it just, it just felt very interesting. It felt very real, felt very relevant. And also it's very interesting from a psychological point of view about the people that would do this job where you're, I definitely, if I saw something dangerous, would run a mile. Whereas these people have to fight their kind of the, the human instinct to run and move forwards. And so as in drama terms, just as a jumping off point, that's, that's a very interesting start. Now, I've been given a bit of a sneak preview of episode one. It seems like you've really focused on the characters themselves who are, as you say, throwing themselves at the danger. Is that a fair assessment? It's a thriller and thrillers thrill and this hopefully does that job. But it really is a character study, in particular of Lana. Speaking to kind of Andy G or Joel, the expos that we, we used as advisors on the show, it really is interesting what these people have to do in their own lives in order to do the jobs they do. And so that it very much is a character study of, of what happens to Lana from the events of episode one and how that plays out on her as a person over the next five episodes. Obviously, we all know Vicky McClure's talents from things like Line of Duty. Can you tell us why you chose her and what about her struck a chord for you when choosing the main character? I think she's one of the best actors we have in, in the country, full stop. And I think if you look at her career from, you know, this is England all the way through to, to Line of Duty, she has this amazing capacity to show a fierceness, which, which is very much Vicky herself, but also combined with that vulnerability. And that really, really struck me as someone who could portray this character. He's a very complex character. And, you know, it's a cliche, but I really wrote it with Vicky in mind. I knew that I was working with Jed. And then once you're with Jed, you think, OK, well, I've got an in for her. And, you know, in the early drafts, the character was called Vicky just because that's kind of kept it in my mind. When you get a chance to work with someone like that, I think you, you, you take it. As you say, Jed Mercurio is involved in Trigger Point as well. What's it like working with him? He's a great mentor. He's, he's got a really good sense of humour, which I, I think helps our interactions, obviously. And he just really understands story in this profound sense. Not in a rigorous kind of right, here's at one, one, two, three, blah, blah, it must be there. Not prescriptive, but it's much more simple with that. It's, it's how we tell stories. He, he never said to me, trigger point must be this or that. But I think he was very much encouraging me to follow the promise of the premise. It's a thriller about bomb disposal. So let's make it exciting, intense and dangerous. I think the genius of Jed, if you like, is that he, he basically, he takes institutions and shows how fallible they are. Institutions are meant to be fallible, but people never are. I mean, you look at politics right now, and I think what he does so well is that he kind of taps into the soft underbelly of the institutions that we know, whether that's hospitals or whether it's police force, and he really shows the the human side of it. And I think that's what we were trying to do with Trigger Point. Now, there are quite a few police dramas on British TV. We seem to love them. Why do you think that is? I think it's this sense of institutions. I think we, there's a stability and there's a comfort in shows which deal with the, with the framework of an institution, whether it's the police force, whether it's the military or whatnot. I think we like to see the human side of that. We like to understand the drama. And I think there's also another element of escapism in there. We're not all going to be detectives. We're not all going to be bomb disposal. But what we will enjoy is the human interactions, is, is understanding what makes people do that job. And I think just purely in police dramas, I think there's, a, there's an easy kind of like structure to it in the first five minutes you get a murder and then by the end of it you 
it's resolved. And if only life was that simple. But I think we enjoy that as a as a formula. Now, I'm personally a real sucker for those really tense moments in police dramas. In the first episode, there is a really intense moment involving two of the main characters. Can you tell us about that? You're talking about the scene in the flat. It was a really fun thing to shoot. We filmed on this in this estate in Kilburn, and it was it was genuinely one of the hottest days of the year anyway. And so you've got 20 people stuffed into this room trying to get this very tense scene. And it, and it was tense because people just wanted to get the hell out of there and get a drink of water, you know. Vicky was very keen to be as authentic as possible. So, you know, she, she I think she's mentioned this in other interviews, but she, she was genuinely wearing the kind of the full on protective outfit in most things, just because she wanted to get a sense of the weight of the kind of like the, the stuff these guys have to wear just to get from A to B. So, yeah, I think that added an extra level of, of heat and, and stress. These guys really wanted to make sure they did the best job, obviously. And so they, they had spent hours and hours and hours with the with the actual expos working about how they would respond to these situations so for people who see the trailer will see police they'll see vicky mcclure and they'll probably think oh it's like line of duty what do you say about that comparison i think if we can be half as successful as popular as lod i'll be happy i mean i think what hopefully we have in common with that is that lod is is about great storytelling and hopefully this taps into that as well i mean Lana and I think, is it Kate Fleming is the character in, in Lana Gigi, are, are very, very different characters, very different completely. And it's a different story. I think what we do in Trigger Point is we really spend time with them. I think in Lana Gigi, what works so well is that we never really go home with them that much. Lana takes us into her world, takes us into her life, and we go with her on her journey. And it really is as much about the mystery and the, and the promise of the premise of the thriller. It's, it's about her as a person and what it takes to do the job she does. And it can break her and perhaps it will, we'll see. And you say if it's half as successful as Line of Duty, you'll be happy. Do you have a target for the show? Are you aiming to do several series of Trigger Point? Or is it just a case of seeing how the project goes? It very much is the piece of art we want to see where it goes. But I think Lana is also a very, I have a, a very big canvas picture for her in terms, she's a very, an evolving character. I think there's lots of places she can go. And I think the place we take her to in this first series is, I would like to take her away from that. I would like her to see her in a different situation too. I think there's lots of room for her. There's lots of space for her to evolve, lots of places for her to go. So I, I do think it could be a returning series. I think this is very much a standalone series, but I think there's there's definitely scope for, for future series. That's it from The Leader. This podcast is back on Monday at 4 p.m.